and Bruce Lee and Rafael Dos Anjos. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world and going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Dos Anjos is back in side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the... Then he's out. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, side control now. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. 26 total strikes have now landed for Rafael Dos Anjos. RDA goes for the takedown, he misses. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, there's that patented heavy leg kick. Every time he's got... Whoa! Sue's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he might be out. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Rick. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Second round here. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Yo, Sanjos' shot is blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad.
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice kick. Dos Anjos. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. No! Oh, my God! Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Dos Anjos' head kick is blocked. No damage there. Nice movement punch. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Again, in the clinch. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice, sneaky head kick. Right hand upstairs. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Dos Anjos gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Dos Anjos trying to faint his way in. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Back to the jab now, no good. And they separate. It's a nice leg kick there by Rafael Dos Anjos. Oh, how good is that jab by Lee? 
Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution there. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, nice. And they separate. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Dos Anjos not having it. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this Oh, fight. he might be out. Sanchos gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> All right, so a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watch the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. You don't know what the judges are seeing. I think he did enough. I 